This video is going to be quite a short one. I have my A-level mocks very soon and you might do as well, whether it's GCSE mocks, A-level mocks or any other exams, you might have them very soon or you might have already had them. So I'm just going to go over how I'm revising for these mock exams at the moment and just keep you guys updated on what's going on right now, I guess. So this is what I'm using at the moment to revise for my mock exams. I've just made this kind of revision plan thing on Google Sheets as I always do. And as you can see, it's very similar to my nine week revision plan, but obviously I've only started three weeks beforehand before my mocks and if you look on the right over here with the different topics I've been doing each day as you can see week one I didn't even do much anyways so there's four subjects I've got biology chemistry math obviously but then the fourth one there is for interview practice because I still have one more interview left so basically what my plan is from now until my mock exams to do at least one topic on every subject and do a bit of interview prep for each day and hopefully that should go well so I've got all my different topics on the left here as you can see there's quite a lot of topics I don't know if I'd be able to go over all of them and I've got a lot of things I want to do for every topic so for example for maths I want to try and do mixed exercise practice book maths junior and PMT I don't need to do every single one of these for all of them but it depends on how difficult I'm finding a topic so as of right now literally I'm, I'm doing some maths revision here I'm doing some hypothesis testing back from year one and just going over that stuff to make sure that I still remember that and as I complete each mixed exercise I'm going to tick it here and then I'll do a bit of practice book questions if I feel that I need to do extra practice on it otherwise I'll move straight to maths junior and PMT questions. I don't really want to do any past papers for these mock exams. I'm just trying to use this time to try and get rid of as many of those topic tests as I can and try and like do as many of those as possible. So I am still trying to treat this as like seriously as possible. I'm definitely not doing nowhere near as much revision right now as I thought I would be doing. Like I've made this fancy plan and whatever. I will leave this in the description as well in case you want to use it. This is very specific to my own mocks. Like all these topics here are the ones that are coming up in my own mock exams. So it might be different for you, but if you want to have the template and then edit it around or whatever it will be in the description I'll leave it there but I will make a nine week revision plan again for this year a new and updated one for A levels and GCSEs so stick around for that as well this is my first stage of revision then my second stage of revision is literally the last minute revision that will come days before every mock exam so when my two weeks of mocks begin I'm just going to spend that time dedicating it to the specific papers so in week one I'm only going to practice on those week one papers and then week two that's probably the best thing to do that's all I wanted to let you guys know this is what's going on at the moment and I'm just currently just going over my subjects and doing revision like that if you are stuck in how to revise for your mocks or your actual thing at this stage I just really recommend just doing as many practice questions as possible and I'm realizing with a lot of these topics especially in maths that there's a lot of type of questions that I just cannot do or I've like forgotten how to do them so going over those mixed exercises for me especially is like one of the best ways you can understand every topic instead of going over and watching a video for the topic I begin by doing the questions and if I can do the questions I'm not going to waste my time watching a video on it but if I find that I can't do a type of question I will then try and see if I can watch a video in it or I'll check my notes on that topic or whatever to try and understand it then I'll go back to the questions because at this stage it's all about the questions I have done flashcards and whatever beforehand but now having only like two weeks until my mock exam so my first exam begins on the 19th of February and it spans over to the 29th of February so it's two weeks of exams in that time period and before that time period all I'm going to be doing now is practice questions and hopefully just rinsing those because there's a lot of practice questions out there and I want to try and make sure I do as many of them for these mocks so then when my real exams come along I don't have as many questions to do for that and I just have mainly past papers to do because at that point I will be prioritizing past papers anyway so that's the plan I know that by the end of this I'm not going to take anywhere near as many boxes that I think I would have but it's about just going over this at this point mocks don't even like contribute towards anything it's mainly for me to get myself back into the like swing of revision the only thing that's making it difficult for me at the moment is interview preparation as well I'll I get my last interview out of the way then I feel like I can properly revise for these A-level subjects. Honestly compared to GCSEs I actually believe it's easier to revise for A-levels. You have to put the work in but once you put the work in it's actually quite easy to get the grades that you want because I think one thing that's good about A-levels is all you're really trying to do is meet your offer requirements and that's it. If you can do that then it doesn't matter whether or not you got three A stars, two A stars, one A stars. As long as I meet my grade requirements for the course I'm applying for medicine then that's all I'm really trying to achieve and if I just set my expectations at that and try my best for that then it will be fine but I do need to make sure that I don't become complacent and I don't decide oh it's fine I don't need to do too much revision because all I need is an A for this subject anyways or something like that so yeah that's how it's going at the moment um 
let me know if you are doing A-levels at the moment or if you have GCSE mocks very soon. Let me know how those are coming along. Best of luck for anyone who's got exams soon as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Hopefully this motivated you a bit. That was my main purpose for this video, just to give you guys a bit of motivation if you should be revising right now, but you're not start revising please and it's really really important to start making a sort of plan whenever you have any sort of big exams coming make a plan it makes everything so much easier or if you don't want to make a plan yourself just use mine also you better get to revision now the only reason you're not going to go to revision right now is because you've already done revision have you done revision well there you go then revise